Who wins the next championship first? Hugh Freeze or Kalen DeBoer? You all, you already know the answer. Wait a minute. Welcome in to Iron Bowl Debates. I am your boy, DC Wolf. I got my co-host at Tight Sport. Like I need to be sold right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to the Iron Bowl debates, man. All my R fans come in. I know need you on my side, man. I got to deal with these Alabama fans today. So I don't know why you keep coming back. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna talk a hey, good good subject you came in with, man. Let's talk national championships and who gonna win these national championships first, man. I will let you want you want the ones that no, okay. um, we're talking about future ones. We talk about future, oh, future ones. Y'all always, <laughs> you know, say so y'all always I, trying to go count back up. in the past with you. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, man, we talking about in this future type. You know what I'm saying? So tell me, bro, wh who do you think wins the title first? I already got my opinion. I already know who it's gonna be, but you know, go ahead. This is too simple, man. You, you know, your boys playing catch up. I, I listen to your shows, and everybody's hoping you, we can y'all can get eight wins and nine mm -hmm. wins. We're trying to. We're trying to see are we gonna be in the playoffs or not in the playoffs? Like mm -hmm. we're gonna be we're looking at our, our bottom is like barely making the playoffs and mm -hmm. just missing out on the playoffs. So okay, okay. As I said, Coach DeBoer is working with a bigger talent pool at this point. Uh he took a team to the um playoffs. The average recruiting class was 41. His average recruiting class now is 1.5. I'm gonna go with Alabama. Call me crazy. Mm -hmm. Call me crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I will say, this is Hugh, Hugh Freeze's problem right here. I don't, oh. I don't. He oh. can't win a chip, man, because Cam Newton's oldest child is like nine years old. So maybe nine or eleven years from now, Seabass can come in here and lead the Tigers to glory. I, that's how I look at it. Uh, you mm -hmm. think you can hold on that long? Oh uh, man, I tell you what. I tell you what. This is my thought. It's my thought, Ty. Now, if you're looking at if Nick Saban was there, I would agree with you. Oh, but Nick okay. Saban is gone. Now, if oh, Nick Saban respect Nick Saban now. Yeah, I respect Nick Saban. And I got a now. reason to respect Nick Saban because Nick Saban has a pass of winning championships. And the GOAT said with his own mouth, not his mouth, but his mouth, he said he had a good team coming back this year. Right? And if the GOAT says he has a good team coming back this year, I believe the GOAT. So I would say Alabama if Nick Saban was still there. But when Nick Saban left, he took Nick Saban juice with him. Not mm -hmm. only did he take Nick Saban juice with him, he took coaches with him. He took players with him. They mm -hmm. went up schools, right? Okay, so y'all don't have the same 1.5 as far as talent you put out there. That is fake news. <laughs> Number two, perception. Now, we can only go off perception type because the season is not here. We haven't seen anybody play, correct? So right. we do hold the right to change this once the season starts and we see real right. football. For right now, we see perception. And out of the eyes of perception, if Kalen DeBoer wins nine games, everybody will, with their eyes, perceive that Alabama is on a decline, right? Including recruits. Hypothetically, this is correct. Yes. Yeah. Now, if... Auburn wins nine games. Everybody will perceive with their eyes and their mind, including recruits, that out that Auburn is on a incline and Alabama is on a decline. Win how many games? I said if Auburn wins nine, nine games, games. Nine and I'll games. even say, and I've I've already said eight games is where Auburn needs to land. Right, for that perception to be right. So if all I'll say this: if Auburn wins eight games and Alabama wins nine, even though Alabama would win more games, the perception toward the programs would be totally different. Recruits would see Alabama as declining and Al and Auburn as inclining. So, Kalen DeBoer, this is his, I think, his best class and best chance to win a championship at Alabama's this year. If he doesn't win it this year, man, y'all gonna be in trouble, dude. So. With that said, I'm picking Hugh Freeze to win this championship first, man. It's less pressure on Hugh Freeze than it is Kalen DeBoer. If this dude go and win nine, nine games, games this year, he finna see some real pressure, man. And, I, hey, and hey, uh, uh, with I this, like, let me close with this. 
Let me close with this. I got one thing. You are at fault for this happening, too. Because Nick Saban said 30 players came in his office. They were talking about NIL. They were talking about transfer portal. So now, if you would have given more to Alabama as far as NIL, Nick Saban probably would still be there. But, you know, go ahead. I'm blaming you for Nick Saban leaving. Auburn has a pretty good years, 1913, 1914, 1957, 58, 93, 04, and, of course, 2010. Simple numerology shows that uh, Auburn will have uh, a one-loss season in about 13 years. So that's something. Other than yeah. that. No, you got to look at tight. You you waiting on sea bass? No, it's different, dog. It's like, different, by the dog. way, our class for next different. year go already look, in top go five. Look at the re go look. At, yeah, our recruit class for next year is already in top five with thirteen what? people. You talking about? Right you talking about twenty twenty five or twenty twenty six? Twenty twenty five. Y'all number what? Five. Number five. So far. Okay, tight. I don't know what recruit rankings you looking at. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. I don't know. What They're talking crazy. Now, as usual, okay. This is what this is what I look at recruiting rankings, right? This is what I judge y'all for me. The state of Alabama. Mm. Before Nick Saban came in, the state of Alabama belonged to Auburn, and they ran off six straight. When Nick Saban came six, in, six straight what? Victory Iron Bowls. No, oh, oh, Iron Bowl. I thought oh, you were talking about Watch oh. this. Watch this though. Watch this though. Tight. When Nick Saban came in, he took over the state of Alabama right. and he ran it back. You follow what I'm saying? Right mm -hmm. now, when you look at the state of Alabama recruiting, Auburn is didn't Alabama head in the state of Alabama. And I've heard right. a recruiting expert say that Alabama does not have the same infrastructure in Alabama that they had when Nick Saban was there. They don't have the same infrastructure type, so they're not recruiting the same as they did when Nick Saban did in Alabama. Right now, Hugh Freeze is den Kalen the boy head in Alabama, boss. Right. And yeah, soon and it's y'all lose to North, northern New Mexico. It's the same. Yeah, that, that I, 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 I had to be magically yeah, healed. You're, you're talking about <laughs> one year, and and you have to look at you have to you have to look at recruiting in college football that's the lifeblood now it might might take you a little time to receive to see the results just like with georgia and kirby smart it took a little time for the process mm -hmm. to be seen mm -hmm. when kirby hit the ground running he got to georgia he said man these are not sec players or not the type of sec players i'm used to it's gonna take me some time to get in what i'm used to right it took time for the recruiting to catch up with your eyes, and you what I'm be telling like you, you and what I'm telling you is, Hugh Freeze is recruiting on the same levels, bro. And it's gonna take some time for Hugh Freeze recruiting to catch up with your eyes. But by that time, dude, it's gonna be too late, and you're gonna be you're like, too late. "What happened? It's over." I'm telling you, yeah. Well, I'm you're saying you, with I'm all this work he's doing, happen. if Hugh Freeze stays at at Auburn and they keep the same symmetry they have right now, right. bro, it's over. Is it? When you look at the recruiting right now, and I look at, I'm telling you, I look at the state of Alabama. And who's I winning? Don't know the why, state? But go ahead. Because, bro, Alabama has some cream of the crop players. They do. You know and the same I, way, the same, the same way with Georgia, bro. If you winning, if you winning, winning recruiting in Georgia, you winning. You follow what I'm saying? I follow so what you're saying. Saying, but history, dog, where did your recruiting class end up this year? What do you mean? What you talking 10. about next year? Is, it, was about it was top 10. We're top 10 right now, tight. We, we we're, we're, we're currently, but tight. Look how many people y'all had leave from that number two class. See, you number just two, looking at the number tight. It's not number two if you don't look at how many people have left your program. No, no, the last thing once they washed I, out, it's number two. No, it's A lot not. Of people came I, back. What are you no, talking about? Not. Only one person came back, bro, and that was the offensive tackle. Only one person came back. You talking about the transfers? I was talking. We talking about the recruits or the transfers? We are talking about all. We are talking about all of them, dude, because it counts. So you're saying that the team that's at Alabama right now is actually showing that they have less talent than what Auburn got right now? No, I'm not saying that. I think Alabama is more talented. See, I'm not delusional. So, and it, at some, so but but in some point in the future, Alabama will become less talented than Auburn. It's very possible with how the recruiting is going. No, no, no I'm saying you you yeah. saying that because you saying yeah. that it's very Hugh possible how the recruiting is going. because he's going to be a more quality players than 
Really? I, I didn't didn't see that. I'm not. Uh, what I'm saying is this: one, one, one. We haven't seen Kalen DeBoer coach. Number two, Kalen DeBoer has not coached a full season in the SEC. He's not coached one game. Right. The the, the SEC is different, dog. The F SEC is different, and you keep talking about man, this dude at Washington winning with lesser players. He was playing lesser defenses in the Pac-12. Yeah, but y'all lost to New Mexico State. It doesn't matter. Then did not. Who did y'all lose to with Saban in his well, first year? We lost to Texas. Then. No, 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 no. We lost it's to Michigan. Oh, no. in Saban's first year, who did y'all lose to? Oh, did y'all lose to Louisiana yeah. Monroe? Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm no, not, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't skip the question, bro. Washington was not no, winning no, 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 anything no, 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 before no. he got you, there. With you the lesser bringing, defenses. You oh, I'm not even gonna bump for Washington. What I would no, tell no, you, you keep bringing up here all day. You keep bringing up. You keep bringing up New Mexico State tight. You keep bringing yeah, up that, that, that was pretty. That was Hugh Freeze's first year. Who did y'all lose to the dog first year a, with Nick Saban? I, as, as, a, as, time. A, as a homeowner in the state of Alabama, felt that some of my tax money was being squandered that day <laughs> when, when they cracked y'all head open hey. on your old film. I'm like, I want my, I want wait, that little. That the that little milligram of uh powder they got on the sideline or the water they was using that came from my tax revenues from my I want I want my money back I, I want I want my tax <laughs> revenue that was I, embarrassing I sit here and relax while you avoid the question who did Saban lose to his first year I don't know, Alabama Louisiana said, Monroe one of the right, teams exactly. that name too exactly guess what Saban said he said when he left that game he went to the gas station and a dude. Took his money and said, "Yeah, we'll never win a championship as long as that coach Nick Saban is there." He didn't even oh realize Nick Saban. You the know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was, was wrong. That was his first year, though. You feel what I'm saying? That was Nick Saban's first year. So, but you I'm saying, but y'all expecting you, what this you, year? Y'all expecting you, to to you, go to Atlanta? You, you, no, I'm not. I'm expecting. To I'm win expecting eight to go to Atlanta. That good for y'all. I'm expecting to win eight games. You see what I'm saying? Eight we don't games. Remember, you talking but, about? We're on a different trajectory and we have a different background, dude. Kalen DeBoer has he has inherited more talent than Hugh Freeze did. So you can expect to go to Atlanta. That's not this our is, that's not my expectation. I don't know what the other Auburn fans are expecting. I'm so expecting how many years you say it's gonna take for Hugh Freeze to win this next championship? Um, I, I think it'll take maybe like two to three years. So in two to three years, you guys would have won a next championship, even though LSU got a head start on you. Georgia got a head start on you. Hypo has a head start on you. Without talking about Alabama, all the Sarkeesian has a head start on you. They, and them teams ain't looking at winning, trying to win eight nine games. I didn't say for the. I didn't say forever. I said for this year. For this year, tight. That's one year. I didn't say forever. You can't win a national. I'm talking championship across the next two three years. What, year. what is Tennessee oh, gonna look like? If Alabama is nothing, year. what is Tennessee gonna look like? Is it garbage. No, Tennessee is not gonna look like garbage. They're gonna beat Kirby. Just gonna lay it down. No, they're gonna beat y'all. They're gonna beat y'all too. Kirby gonna lay it down. No, they're gonna beat y'all too. No, they ain't but gonna be able to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Kirby, not no, beat. not this year. Not this year. We're not gonna beat Kirby. I'm not, across I'm the next not, couple I, years, I'm not delusional. We're not. It, we're not. It'll take something special for us to go into Jordan, Georgia, and beat Georgia this year, dude. You know what I'm saying? It'll take that, something right. special. It'll take something special for us to go into Tuscaloosa and win in Tuscaloosa. Based on history, again, again, we got to wait till we see football because I don't see know what Kalen the boy is going to do, what, what his team is going to look like, how he's going to traverse the SEC. I have no idea, but based on history, and it's hard to base it on history because Nick Saban is gone. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But based on history, tight, I'm not delusional, dog. Based on history, it's going to be hard for us to go into Tuscaloosa and win this year. But you got to look at dude. Alabama can, want, Alabama can run a T formation and a 5 4 base de defense and win nine games. Stop it. No. Tight, dude, you, this is what's beautiful about the Alabama nation. It's like, dude, it's kind of like you look at the A on your head. Don't on sleep on hat. the T. Yeah, you look at the A on your hat and you think that equates to wins. Not in this day and time, not with the transfer portal, not with NIL, dog. It doesn't work like that anymore. It's like, dude, that stuff, you can't look at logos anymore. And well, when I look like at Colorado, team. it don't work like that either. I agree, but you got to understand. You got to have Colorado's balance. on a different different trajectory, though. You got to have balance. We can't bring Colorado into this, man. Because you talk about transfer portal is the, is the, is the great equalizer, right? 
Yes, yeah, no, I didn't say just transfer portal. I said NIL. So NIL transfer could portal be, and NIL is yeah, a great I, equalizer. That's why the people yeah, going to Colorado, right? Yeah, but right, no, but uh, you got to understand, Colorado is not leveraging high school recruiting. You see what I'm saying? He's trying to leverage the. the, the we are. <laughs> yeah, right. But he's trying to leverage the transfer portal and not leverage high school recruiting, man. You yeah, I think he got some travel? That's a risk. He, he might do it, but NIL is going to leverage not only the portal but high school recruiting too. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to have both. That's why I don't discount Colorado. That's an anomaly. If he just do it out the portal, that's so, like Lane Kiffin. That's something right. different. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm talking about out the portal. You know, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh. That's like my I answer. Said, I think you freeze, man. Don't be mad at me. Seabass Newton, class of 2034, it's your best chance. <laughs> hey, man. I, I think he's about 19 years old. Pretty hey, tall guy. Hey, this, that's lovely. That's lovely, tight. And, and I'm huh? glad Alabama fans see it that way. You know what huh? I'm saying? I hope I'm all, all you, Alabama I mean, fans, all Alabama I know he's going to commit. I think you guys are early on, you know, y'all hey, ahead man. in the recruiting. Somebody at that house out of that household yeah. is, is y'all savior. Okay. I'm just telling you again. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope y'all see it that way. I hope Alabama <laughs> players see it that way. I hope hey, coach. When you get there, I'll be I was like, look, man, y'all remember what happened last time. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Because all that stuff you just said. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, man. That is like something happening and you don't see it happening. It's like, bro, saying. you gotta be realistic too. It's like, bro, Hugh Freeze is putting on a show and recruiting. You know, I'm sorry. Dude, it's like I know you see the Auburn logo and don't want to accept it, bro. I know you see the Auburn logo, don't want to accept it. But, I mean, bro, if you look at it out of the eyes of re re uh, reality, the dude is recruiting well, man. Man, we we we, you know we flying, it flying G6s and new G7s all up in Tuscaloosa every every weekend, dropping these boys off. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> and, ain't nothing stopping around here, man. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what they're telling y'all over there. I, I will tell you like this, it's probably fake news, fake sport news, because because okay. it's on and popping up there every weekend. Okay. Hey. It's on and popping other places too. And just be in the in the, the address the thing about people being ahead, bro. A turtle can be ahead of a jackrabbit or a cheetah, but that doesn't not mean not in my not in my race, bro. <laughs> Not in my you know, suit potty game. <laughs> 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 Not if you get inside my suit pot. He's he gonna be ahead, all right. Gonna be ahead. <laughs> all right, man. All right, yeah. I got you, man. I got you, man. We go, you know. All right, man. I I I just didn't expect you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, I, Bro, I subject myself. We, are, we to just gonna get in, we're gonna get in two today, boss. Let, let, let me let me let me right, just man. Let me right. well with all this great talk about uh you guys winning the national championship. I gotta ask you something, DC, y'all. It has come to the attention of the world mm -hmm. that the University of Georgia scheduled Auburn to play in Athens between the hedges. Okay. Uh, they have y'all scheduled as their homecoming game. Uh, does that matter? Does that say something? Are they expecting something? What's, now, what's your take on that? I'm going to tell you like this, Tyke. I'm just being oh. honest. It's disrespectful, man. That's disrespectful to... You know, schedule us as your homecoming game, bro. Maybe. That's super disrespectful. Now, Maybe. let me say this. When we were in high school, we always scheduled Bullet County for homecoming because we know Bullet County. Because we know we could beat Bullet County. You know what I'm saying? On most years, we could beat Bullet yeah. County. That's yeah. you know, Nine out of ten, ten, we beat Bullet County. Now, nine the band, yeah, the yeah, band was you something. You go to get Lynette or somebody. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. The band was a you little fed or whatever. whatever. Yeah, you we know. might fight against the band. You know what I'm saying? The right. band was the real fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, oh, yeah. You know, we scheduled Bullet County because we knew what we were going to do to Bullet County. I'm a Bullet County folk. You know, shout out to y'all. Anyway. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, so up. having said that, man, Georgia is looking at us like we Bullet County, man. Yes, what sir. Indeed. You know, it's disrespectful, but let me say this. Hugh Freeze, you need to stop allowing people to see you as a homecoming pushover. It's all for fault. Is it disrespectful? Yes. Is it right? Yes, because if I was George, I'd be doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'll be scheduling Auburn too until Auburn stop making me schedule them. Auburn yeah. needs to stop making Georgia schedule them at homecoming. When when yeah. when Hugh Free when um Kirby in there with his athletic director, hey yeah, we schedule homecoming. You know what I'm saying? Down the road, we're gonna pencil in Auburn. Hold on, hold on. Don't pencil in Auburn, bro. Don't, you don't want to do that. You want to put George Stubbs in his home? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Don't do Auburn this year, bro. We <laughs> don't want to do that no more. You see what I'm saying? Auburn gonna have to black that out a couple of times 
before they take them off homecoming. It's disrespectful, anyway. but is it warranted? Yes. I tell you one thing, if I can get in here, mm -hmm. Kirby trying to lock down that I 85 corridor, baby. He trying to lock that thing down. Ain't happening, man. From mm -hmm. from from as soon as you step off uh Auburn's campus mm -hmm. all the way back up through Athens, he want everybody looking his way as the first choice. And he gonna bring y'all that does it matter. I remember Alabama AM scheduled my beloved Tuskegee University Golden Tigers for a national championship game. <laughs> I thought that was odd. Yeah. <laughs> On their homecoming. Final yeah. result, 58 to 3. Um, y'all not gonna lose by 55 points. That's a good thing. Y'all could win, but then mm -hmm. um, you know, I just think that it was very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Um, I want somebody to do that. I mean, it's up to y'all to go up there and punch him in the mouth, man. Exactly. It's up to y'all, mm -hmm. it's up to him to get to do it. That ought to be almost the best game y'all play all year, win, lose, mm -hmm. draw. Mm -hmm. Georgia ought to go to the next to the next game and fall apart because mm -hmm. they just fatigued. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. I, I ooh, I would fight, man. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of feel for y'all because of what happened to Tuskegee. I just, <laughs> but I'm like, I, we weren't prepared. But I think you guys could definitely be prepared to go in there and just shock the world. I mean that. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying I'm cheering for y'all because that was very mm -hmm. disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, but here's another thing. I don't know if you heard about this. UGA tweeted that Auburn was playing that game on the same day, but they said that Auburn was scheduled to play Auburn instead of Auburn ver versus Georgia. They tweeted out by mistake that Auburn was playing Auburn in Athens. I said, whoo, that's a double something, double yeah, that, meaning. That, if yeah. that, you know, so – yeah. And it's kind of, and maybe they're saying that you guys are the only ones that can stop you. Mm, mm, mm. Man, nah, hey. don't worry about it. Just hold on for dear life. Man. <laughs> hey, man, I'm counting as an L, but I'm just hoping, man. That's just because it is, bro. That's super disrespectful. Yeah. But Auburn got to do something about it. I'm saying, huh? Chin up, guy. Don't don't cry on the sidelines, man. Don't be crying. <laughs> 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 like it's next championship game. Don't be. Right, me, and then I'm let, to piggyback off that. Uh, question tight will Georgia beat Alabama in Alabama it's not their homecoming I don't think I don't think they were crazy enough to schedule Georgia's homecoming but what do you, do you think what, what you think that looked like dude they have 10 returning starters on offense mm -hmm. they're together they have 69.5 percent of their tackles returning uh from their defense we're talking about Georgia yeah, I'm talking about George. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you yeah, yeah. They they lock cocked and ready to rock. Um, <laughs> only thing we got is the home crowd. Uh, yeah. I think because we we got so many pieces missing in the defense, that's going to be a very tough game to really test the boar. Mm -hmm. I have it counted as a loss when mm -hmm. I really look at. If I had to, you know, put a hundred dollars down on it or something like that, mm -hmm. I'm not. But if I had mm -hmm. to, uh, I have I do have it counted as a possible loss for the for Alabama because mm -hmm. of where the teams are as far as gelling together. It's really early in the season, and I'm mm -hmm. just going to be real about it. I, I hope it's a close game, but it may be the home crowd to put us over the top because that team is – they're going to be thirsting for blood. I mean, <laughs> we kept them out of the playoffs last year. <laughs> exactly. And I thought most of them would have left. <laughs> After they got shut down and dismantled and, and you know what I'm saying, they got they got a reality check. Yeah. But yeah, they man, did. I don't even know who they missing off defense, but when you got 69% of your tackle, 70% of your tackles coming back, unless they have some key areas, like please let it be like a cornerback just, just you know, transferred, took the money and ran because our receivers are young. Matter of fact, please let it be their best defensive lineman that had to go to the NFL. I ain't know who they lost, left. I mean, who they lost, but 69%, man. <laughs> that's pretty much with the rotation that people do. That's pretty mm -hmm. much saying the whole defense coming back. Mm -hmm. So Georgia, mm -hmm. pretty, not only is highly favored to win that game, Georgia's probably, you know, highly, as I read through some of uh, the odds early or last week, mm -hmm. they are really uh, heavy favorites to win the SEC championship and win the whole thing. Yeah, uh, what, what we hoping tight with Georgia, and we kind of got on Georgia too, bro, for y'all Georgia fans who lurking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Georgia fans who lurk it, man. I'm hoping that Georgia having a real schedule will affect Georgia. That's what I'm really hoping, man, because this yeah. is the first time. Bro, Georgia usually a cakewalk to the SEC championship, man, <laughs> and then have to – we over in the West just fight. You know what I'm saying? So we we just, battling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we over there, you know what I'm saying? They you over there, they over there and, uh, we, over there, we over there having knife fights. They over there yeah. playing so well. Yeah, they over there playing patty cake, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even, do you win that patty cake? I don't even know. No, man. They over there playing paper, scissors, dynamite rock. You know what I'm saying? That's what, yeah. That's what they, you know what I'm saying? That's what well, they, we, we over there having bro. knife fights and, and chain. Yeah, you know, bro. Chain. You know what I'm saying? You over there fighting. Battle Royals. Even if, you know, Auburn has been down, but still the Iron Bowl has been like, you know, it's, bro, that thing is rough, man. LSU and you, Auburn. Yeah, you fighting LSU. You, you fighting, bro. I mean, like Ole Miss know, over there, man. Alabama, we don't talk about too much. Auburn has stopped Alabama from going to the SEC championship, but sure. y'all have stopped LSU. Yeah, that is it's real. That West was real, bro. You know? And then you know, yeah. Texas ain't and shot the keg to uh, uh Ole Miss. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, just like you going to the no, you ain't. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, we going to Atlanta. Yeah, no, you ain't. No, you, you ain't. ain't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you coming there thinking you going to Atlanta. And then yeah, meanwhile, the West, we only got Florida self-destructing. Yeah. Hopefully, Vanderbilt. Yeah. South Carolina. Hopefully, like, Josh Heifel can get it to go. You know, but then, like, Missouri came along at the wrong time. I mean, yeah. now, now they want to be legit. Kentucky. We don't have divisions. Now Mizzou want to be in every conversation. Yeah, man. And, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Georgia been cakewalking this thing, man. So I'm hoping them – Going to you know Alabama, me, you know, I, I, text, I don't, don't want to be know? too disrespectful. Mm -hmm. They 10% remind me, well, 30% mm -hmm. remind me mm -hmm. of those Miami Hurricanes from back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. all y'all out there who may be yeah. Miami Hurricane fans, man, mm -hmm. go somewhere. Yeah, when they came into a real conference, what did they do? Not win the conference yet. What is Not it, even like 20 years? They just won their division a few years ago. Yeah. Just when they won was in the their big division. East. Everybody was, you know what? Yeah. The Big East was practicing basketball during football season. Mm -hmm. Mine was going straight in that championship. Yes, play, sir. Every play Notre Dame, lose yeah. to them, beat yeah. them. Like, ah, yeah. Beat yeah. Nebraska or something like that. I'm like, bro, yeah. who y'all? Y'all been over here doing reps. Yep. Yep. They have been over there doing scrimmages. Right. <laughs> People over here trying to <laughs> catch up with Herschel Walker and <laughs> Bo Jackson <laughs> running crazy. And you got Bobby yeah. Humphrey making your chest yeah. hurt. You win the game with Bobby yeah. Humphrey. You still, I think I'm bleeding in my chest, coach. Yeah, you, you, know? see, what you <laughs> see what happened to Miami when Alabama got a hold to him. And I was pulling for Miami. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it yeah, is. a lot of people pulling for Miami. Miami a man. lot of money was lost that day. Yeah, man, I was pulling for Alabama. A lot of Miami, money, man. We watched that game together, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I, was pulling I for can't Miami. even remember because yeah. it was. Uh, we watched the, we watched the game together, man. I, I know I you know, I was standing that up. Was a long, I was in, I was in ready position the whole time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The whole game, I was like this. <laughs> I was so mad, man. Gino Toretta, man, that man lost his career that night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. See, mm. what y'all don't want is Alabama Auburn fans to get on you. That's what you don't want. <laughs> That's right. Miami fan, <laughs> you know, Georgia fan, you know, they don't want us both to get yeah, on. I, I actually, fighting each other, you know, man. sometimes you got like a um, alternative ego, like mm -hmm. an alternative. I don't know. I kind of see like Georgia is the opposite of Alabama until they mm -hmm. start winning championships. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So I never like really hated Georgia. Yeah, man, I can't stand them now, bro. Right, I know y'all. That's that's your job, but like you know. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a, yeah. it's ratcheted up now that they win the championships because it's just like they got another level of arrogance. Oh, yeah. Y'all got it. Yeah. I mean, just in the modern times, two yeah. championships to one and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah, they like, also yeah, the Terry Bowden thing got wrong. Yeah, hey, man, don't, don't – man, see – bro, we was together for one – uh, what, what, three minutes? I yeah. said y'all got one and a half. They they dissed Terry, Terry Bowden's team. <laughs> My God, man. All right. All right. Times gave all right, let's, uh, let's, all right a championship. Time. Let's wrap this up, man. What can these people find you, Tight? What can they find you, man? What can they find you, Tight? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me turn this thing. What you trying to turn, man? You know what I'm saying? You I got an alarm going off or something. I don't know. Lord Jesus, Jesus, man. That's Kaylin, the boy calling you, telling you, bro, to pipe it down because they probably ain't going to win this year. <laughs> that's, oh, that's I see Kaylin, what it is. calling you, man. That's a uh, that's that's, that's, a, that's a family member of mine that's an Auburn fan. Yeah. Tell you, tell you, you can't stop crying because <laughs> feelings hurt. What can they find you, man? For what can all these Auburn fans find you for this 
I mean, yeah, Auburn fans, because they need to find you too. Where can the Alabama fans find you for Alabama shenanigans? Man, hey man, I saw the um episode of the herd, man. That was, you know, that was oh pretty, yeah, yeah. We're doing the was, around the herd, was, man. Every decent. year, I me mean, every week trying to let people know what's going on around the herd right here on Tight Sports. And for all you Auburn fans, you know, come on over. Repentance is open to you. The doors to the titles are open for you to come and you know just get rid of your war eagle and ways. Yes, sir. Lay it down, lay it down. Just come, <laughs> just come and repent. Boy, you, y'all pick up the tide <laughs> and you can ride. You offer to go to a Jim Jones. <laughs> we don't even serve no Kool Aid. We got water. Y'all so yeah, that, y'all serve that crystal Kool Aid, boss. Y'all right. serve the crystal Kool Aid. <laughs> Tight sports right here on YouTube, man. We are doing it big. Uh, we loving it. Uh, come on over. We be one happy family. As long as you don't wear no orange and no blue, you you okay with me? Y'all go on over there drink that crystal Kool Aid over there. <laughs> <laughs> go on over there and drink that Kool Aid, man. But anyway, uh, to all the Auburn fans, y'all come over here, man. We doing what Auburn do, man. Road tie. Yeah, man. So y'all check us out at Auburn underscore addicts. You know what I'm saying? On all channels, man. That's an ugly hat. <laughs> That's an ugly hat, man. But 18 anyway, on side of the helmet right there. Yeah, 18, man. Mythical National Championships. But until then, until next week, we will see y'all on Iron Bowl.